many of you guys went to Six Flags? Yes. Okay, so so many of you have been in line forever waiting for a ride. But why? It's just because, like you and I, we both like to feel the rush of the roller coasters like when we're, we're on the roller coasters and when we're off. first roller coaster ever was Gold Rush. It's supposed to simulate Six Flags opened in 1971. First roller coaster was Gold Rush. It was supposed to experience on a runaway mine train. It was mostly intended for little kids. And um, five years later, Revolution came out. It was the first modern roller coaster with a loop. vertical loop on earth. Nobody else had a vertical loop, or if they did, they had to take it down due to um, injuries and it wasn't properly built and stuff. And along with um, first that Six Flags was the first to have a loop roller coaster and many more. It has a lot of breaking, world breaking roller coasters. Um, the first one is Lex Luthor Drop of Doom. It's on the side of Superman. Um, it goes up 400 feet in the air. It drops you down at 85 miles per hour. Most of you are thinking, like, what does that kill you? But no, if the fall doesn't kill you, the impact of the stop will be. <laughs> it stops <laughs> smoothly. Because if you to just fall down like that, the earth is going to kill you. But I'm um, X2, the first fourth dimensional roller coaster. Um, each vehicle right here, these two, they can um, spin 360 forward or backwards. They don't have to depend. So if you're on one side and you flip backwards, then the other person is on the other side is probably flipping forward. Um, it's the first roller coaster to ever have that. Um, it's you can either spin backwards or forward. Um, next, well, next I'm going to be talking about. And the next ride is full throttle. Most of you probably heard it. Full back. Yes. The new roller coaster is coming out as full throttle. 160 foot loop. Um, tallest vertical loop in the world. The previous one was. 140, I think, and that was in Texas. Um, first top pack roller coaster, so that means that when it launches you, first you launch forward seven, from 0 to 75 miles per hour in like three seconds, I think. And then you go in the loop, then it launches you backwards and then forward again, so you can go over the loop. Um, Still in construction. It was supposed to be out on this spring. Should have been done already, but where it's located at, it was where Log Jammer was. I know most of you have been on that way. And um, people didn't want it to be taken down because it was one of the first rides in Six Flags when they opened in 1971. It's been there forever. And they didn't want it to be taken down, but they won and they did. So they started construction late. Um, it should be done by the end of summer, beginning fall. Um, in conclusion, I talked about the first roller coasters in Six Flags. I also talked about the record breaking roller coasters and the new climbing coaster. You can see the giant loop. Swag has 18 roller coasters. Most of them are Another one that I didn't mention was um, Riddler's Revenge. It's the first one to ever stand up. To have you standing up on a long roller coaster. And another one was Tatsu. It's the longest flying roller coaster.